Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. <clears throat> and it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021, Leo. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message or energy for the week. So what do we have for our lovely Leos, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Leo. Okay, so I've got the Queen of Cups here. I'm going to clarify her. Can we clarify this Queen of Cups, please? Queen of Cups is Cancer for me as a reader. Cards on the table, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups for Leo as the overarching energy. Thank you. Okay, so I have it with Three of Pentacles. Okay, so angels, what is the message for our lovely Leos? Thank you. Message for Leos. We have wait. Okay. So, can we have cards, please? 18th to the 24th of January 2021 for the sign of Leo, please. And I'm going to pull four cards. Leo, the first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. We have, yeah, the Page of Cups is your current situation. Knight of Swords is your challenge. Eight of Cups is advice from spirit. And the Knight of Cups is your outcome. Very nice. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Leo, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Leo. Thank you. What do we have for Leo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Leo. Thank you. Yeah, we have the Hanged Man. Knight of Swords is, <laughs> is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is twice now in the reading. King of Cups, we have clarified with the Eight of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles clarifies the Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, I mean, I love the energy here, Leo. It feels for some of you <laughs> it does make me smile this weight actually because I, I quite like it with the hanged man and the page of cups um, you might be waiting until the time is right to take action uh, it, it feels in this situation with the, the three of pentacles is a manifesting energy it is making something real in your conscious reality it's the first signs of success you know the three of coins and the Queen of Cups is, I mean, it feels like you might be, t I mean, this waiting, it might well be that you're biding your time or waiting to see if this person is right for you. The Queen of Cups is to do with love, matters of the heart. Uh, it could be with a Cancer or somebody who has a love interest in your life, male or female energy. Um, but it definitely feels in this situation, there's real potential here. And I think that's what you're looking at. There's potential with somebody, but I'm just going to bide my time and see if it goes anywhere. Because the hanged man can be a card of, uh, it feels in this situation, you're, there's the possibility of love with somebody and it's new love. You know, the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Things are about to look up. 
somebody is sparking your interest here but you're you're just it's almost kind of like you're waiting to see you're waiting to see how things unfold and it's almost kind of like it feels like you're approaching something carefully cautiously taking your time to see if it goes anywhere you know it feels quite beautiful um, definitely someone is is sparking your interest here you see the possibility with somebody new but you're just waiting to see if how something plays out you know it's that kind of energy and because the the thing is i don't think i mean the the knight of swords one the the knight of swords is an impulsive energy uh it's a fast it's a go-getting energy it's a, an ambitious energy it's a driven energy um and in this situation it just feels that you're taking your time here leo and seeing if something goes anywhere um because there's definitely i mean the knight of cups it it can be in terms of maybe waiting to find the right time to have a conversation to see if there's progress in a situation to see if this can go anywhere you know because you know we're going from a page to a night here in the challenge position to see if there's any progress in in this situation if it has legs you know it's that kind of energy it doesn't it doesn't feel that you're rushing into this and why are you not rushing into it well you probably have just it feels like you've been recovering from a past relationship and you're just taking your time somebody is in your life sparking your interest but it feels like you're just going at your own pace um just waiting to see if how something plays out and it's not something that you're going to rush into it's not something that you're going to impulsively jump at which is is normally what you would do you know if you see somebody or someone sparks your interest you're going to go for it but in this situation it feels that you've walked away i mean you could have walked away from a a longer term relationship and it might well be there's somebody new coming into your life but you're just waiting to see if it's going to go anywhere and you're quite relaxed about it and this is the waiting energy you're just waiting to see um because there's definitely potential here and it comes when you may have walked away from a past relationship the king of cups is male or female energy um i mean this is a scorpio as well um we've also got gemini here pisces is the knight of cups so those signs might resonate for you as well um, but there's definitely this energy here, Leo, of, I mean, the, the Eight of Cups might have been something that was disappointing, something that didn't live up to hope or expectation the way that you hoped for. And now you are going in search of that missing cup here, the Nine of Cups, your heart's desire, something that is going to fulfill you, something that isn't going to be disappointing in whatever context, something that is going to really fill your heart's desire. You know, it's that kind of energy. And that's what you're going in search of. And it might well be you're quite happy to just keep your cards close to your chest right now, not wear your heart on your sleeve. You know, it feels this kind of energy of just biding your time to see if what's going to play out here. And I, I really like the energy here. I mean, it, it feels pretty positive because the beautiful thing is there will be an opportunity to express your feelings maybe to each other and start taking steps towards seeing if this relationship can go anywhere because you know this page of pentacles is a manifesting energy and what are you manifesting well you're manifesting an offer of love i mean somebody is expressing their love to you um and it's bringing change i mean you know we've got three nights in your reading so I definitely feel for some of you changes on the cards and it feels like a positive change. The dominant energy being love, romance, relationships, somebody making you an offer. Two Knight of Cups here. Um, or you making them an offer, you know, you putting your cards on the table and expressing how you feel. 
it feels that's definitely going to happen for some of you and it is going to build something the beginnings of something new the beginnings of something beautiful because again the ace of pentacles is the door is opening on this new relationship and the pentacles energy i really like because it's our conscious reality the beginnings of something happening in your conscious reality something that you had secret desires that you hoped would happen but you were kind of waiting to play out until the time was right there's definitely the energy of this beautiful gift coming your way um, a blessing from the universe a door opening for you to manifest something new um, in your conscious reality which is what the which is what the ace of pentacles is and the page of pentacles so it definitely feels like what this love is, I will say for you, Leo, is something solid, stable, secure. It's a foundational energy, the three of coins. You have common goals, common values, common, uh, a common direction, common purpose. You have a lot in common. Uh, and, I, and I definitely see this as a foundational energy of building something. It's the building blocks that you need for a long-term relationship. So I definitely feel that this person is some, some is a relationship that is going to bring great change in your life and it feels for the long term. But the message is just go at your own pace, wait to see how things go and act and express you know, how you feel when the time is right. And that is the beautiful message here. And I feel it's, an, it's a reciprocal energy. It's definitely reciprocated. Very nice energy, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> so we have transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best was yet. To, the best is yet to come. I love that energy. The best is yet to come because it is, and it's almost kind of like you don't want to rush into this. You're taking your time. You know, and it feels because you've been disappointed before, but you had to go through this in order to appreciate this. You, you understand what I'm saying um, and to see the value in what this could be. So I definitely feel for some of you, the best is definitely yet to come. And it feels like new love, very beautiful new love. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.